Hello and welcome to the Critic Uculus. Today we are in Empire of Sin and we are finally beginning our walkthrough of Maxim Zanik after the last update, which was Precincts. Now it's actually been a little while since I've done one of these. Um, so we're going to have to see how this goes. Hopefully we have a smooth run. I know the game has got harder. Um, Maxim Zanix, obviously the brand new boss. So we're going to have a go using him. He is actually a very good boss. His empire bonuses are probably second to none out of all the bosses uh, within the game currently. However, for me, he's still lacking a little bit when it comes to combat. He does have a good boss ability. Bolster the ranks is very good. You get to bring in two extra guards in a fight, meaning that early game, I might be able to get away with not hiring so many gangsters, um, which would be nice, saves us a little bit of money. Um, but he's not the combat powerhouse of Daniel Biggie Jackson or Goldie. Um, so we'll see how this goes. We are going to play with seven neighborhoods. We're going to have max, uh, <laughs> max enemy factions. Um, that being 14 now, because obviously we are the 15th boss. That's kind of crazy. And of course, we are going to be playing on boss difficulty because why would I play on anything else? No, no, honestly, I do play on easy difficulty sometimes, but that's normally when I'm doing a bit of testing, when I'm testing an idea, testing a strategy, uh, or trying to find an exploit because we all know I like to do that. So let's get stuck into it. Um, what did I want to say? I wanted to say that we do actually have an active and growing Discord. Um, I don't really shout it out enough, so I'm told. So if you want to join a Discord, maybe you have some Empire of Sin stuff you want to chat about, you want to chat about any game in general, uh, maybe even recommend the next game for me to review, because obviously I do do reviews as well. Hop in, come say hello. Um, it'd be good to see a few more people. Uh, I'm going to say just get to the point. These sit downs the kind of, you know, nah. This is going to start the main sure. mission, however. Oh, I tell you what, something else we do actually have. This is the first video I'm actually going to be mentioning it as well. But we do finally have memberships on the YouTube channel sorted up. We have three different ranks. The first rank being a made man. Second rank being an underboss. And the third rank being a don. So if you're interested in anything like that and want to support the channel, um, definitely have a look at that. Um, yeah, it's quite interesting. See how it goes. But with with the memberships, uh, they only call, I think the very first rank in memberships only 99 cents. And you do actually get access to these videos and this playthrough and other content as well a few days earlier, as well as a few other um, little perks as well. So let's have a little looky loo. Let's see if we can. Right, we are here. We're going to get a few pop ups, which are annoying. We are going to be on top of absolutely everybody in this playthrough. It's not going to be fun. Um, we're probably going to go to war with a lot of people. It's going to be mayhem, I believe. We're going to request a sit down. I do recommend requesting a sit down because you can get business ar arrangement that way. Obviously, we've got the new way to actually win this game now. Um, and to do that, you are. And, and we've also got buyouts as well. And if we want to have a buyout, then we're going to need to be friendly uh, with the other factions. Personally, I don't like the buyouts because generally they cost a lot of money. But because, because we're playing on such a small enclosed space with so many bosses I th you're not gonna be able to expand that much um so it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be interesting to see how that's gonna affect the buyout clause because obviously as you're not gonna have that many rackets it could be a little bit cheaper to buy people it should be a little cheaper to buy people I want to see if two ads are better than one. And of course, we're going to accept this. Oh, wait a minute. We could negotiate, sweeten the pot a little bit. If hey, we don't want a business deal unless you give us something. How much sweeter does it need to be? Mm, what could we ask for? I tell you what we want. We want a whole five dollars. 
That's what oh, we couldn't even get five dollars. <laughs> oh dear, we've got a problem there. Okay, we, we, we just accept. What can I say? We bluffed. You called our bluff. Well done, Goldie. I want to see if this actually reflects Maxim's stats. If you check out his stats, uh, when it comes to diplomacy at the beginning of the game, his isn't the highest, unfortunately. Uh, if we have a little look, see, we can have a look and see that our persuasion is 72. Um, so it's not anywhere near as high as we want it to be. But we should get our first uh, perk going. So we're going to go for Lifeline. That way, you know, anyone around us, uh, they don't immediately die, which which is helpful. Definitely helpful. Notice on boss difficulty just how low we're starting on cash now. Uh, that's a bit scary. We used to have a little bit more money than that. In fact, I'm pretty sure we used to be able to actually hire a boss, uh, hire a gangster straight away. Of course, we can't do that anymore. Uh, we're going to do another one. What I'm really looking for is this. I want to see who this is. Let's have a look. So I'm looking for a minor league faction or a minor faction. There we go. We got one. And we can't set up. Can't set up one, unfortunately. Thank you, thank you. That's unfortunate. At least we got one. They can be our first targets, if nothing else, if we're not going to protect them. Um, they were a good one to have got as well. That's that's a shame. Um, let's do... Where was this sit down? Oh. You know what? I haven't seen the AI actually grab boxes yet. And I think, possibly... That is what's just happened. It is. Look at that. That is the first time I think I've witnessed the AI actually grab a boss. I think it's interesting that one, they got the box. That's cool. But two, if you look, the thugs, they're, they're running away. They're dispersing. Um, so the thugs no longer stands at the box once they've got it. That's, that's interesting. That's a nice update. That's a nice change. Beforehand, I'd always go on. I'd always get so mad. Um, I don't think I can take out three guards off the bounce straight away. What have I got? I've got... I just got a pistol. We're going to have to run away from that for a minute. I need an easier target. There we go. Two right here. We can do two without taking too much risk to health. Of course, Maxim isn't a medic as well, so we kind of got um, that to remember and to kind of deal with, meaning that we really do need to hire ourselves a a medic early on. There we go. This looks like a good first target. Um, we're going to pop. Let's just go right here. We're going to do the ambush. So here's the life again. We get to get rid of one. And now we can. We only got a 50% chance to hit him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over and melee him. Good thing is, is he's actually out of cover now. So we should have a better chance of actually... Yeah, see so we've got 80% chance now of actually hitting. Got a nice crit. He's down to 12. He's probably going to hit us again. Yeah, look at that. 50 crit. That's not nice. But he's down to 12 now. Oh, we can't win that. We're going to have to gamble on a reload. I can't believe this. I'll tell you what we'd do. If we... No, he'd still be able to hit us. Uh, so, there we go. We can finish that off. Damn it. Down to 50 health fighting two guards. I mean, that's, that's not cool. What? Can you get a luckier, a luckier first box than that, guys? Come on now. Look at that. We got military issue body armor on our first crate. Now, now I'm, I'm kind of excited about this playthrough now. I think it's going to be a good one. We need to heal up, however. There we go. Back up to 80. Let's check the black market. Um, 
because we want some first aid kits. Now, bandages are still going to be useful. I still like bandages. However, if you haven't noticed, bandages have now been nerfed, so they can't pick you up from the grave anymore. Um, so we're going to have to remember that. One thing I do want, however, is a melee weapon. Don't have enough money for a melee weapon just yet. Um, but 100% want a melee weapon because, of course, melee is now a 100% chance to hit. Um, meaning that you know, it really just makes sense to have your gangsters running, uh, running the melees. And let's pop us back up to 100% health. I think we're going to need one more as well. See, and people always try to convince me. They always try and say it. You know, don't, don't bother with those crates anymore. This is what I get. I get the comments all the time. Don't bother with those crates. But oh, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. Okay, so we need to go to a sit down, and then we need to start exploring. I still think exploring the game uh, at the beginning is your best. Um, strap because one understanding where everyone is helps so much two finding those minor factions helps as well um, and getting as many of these business deals at the beginning of the game for me I enjoy unless I'm going to go full rampage mode um, and honestly as a maxim I'm not going to do that um, there we go but yeah, unless you're going to straight up just go for the quickest victory you can, which is, you know, basically just attacking everyone as soon as you see them, um, then, you know, attending the sit-downs. Plus, when you request a sit-down, that opens up a fast travel point as well, which, again, I quite like. Another reason to request one. Um, there's no one else for us to look at here. So let's look at the Western Loop. Kind of open up, see if we can find anyone else. So we know there's two two other bosses in our immediate area. We're going to have to go to war with basically both of them um, straight away anyway. Uh, but having a business arrangement will hopefully um, mean they don't go to war with us quite so soon, allowing us to actually do some stuff. Okay, so we got one here. Let's see what's over here are we moving we're not moving yet there we go gotcha. and where else have we got to go there's one here see the, the the grayed out area indicates that there is another faction here we've got the northern side mob ah I, i'm glad he's so close uh i love attacking the northern side mob i think that his shotgun is very very tasty uh little how very good unique weapon also i do actually have a question for you guys has anyone as of yet actually gone in a fight against maxim and killed him getting his unique weapon because i'm aware that he has two but I, at the moment i'm not sure what his one is you know the one that you get when you kill him i personally just keep playing as him at the moment so i haven't actually gone through and killed him uh, so if you could comment that down below i'd be very grateful um if not then i guess i will quickly do a playthrough as daniel B. jackson and find out myself <laughs> Have a little uh, massacre as Daniel Jackson. Sounds fun. I'm glad we could make a deal. Okay, another business arrangement forged. Let's see. Let's go down here and see who else is in this this city. Are we moving? We are moving. Try and keep an eye out for some more of these two. We do actually need to kill one more person. If we kill one more person, okay. um, our possibility will be charged. Oh, look, there we go. There is only one thug here. Yep. Nope, there is two. For some reason, I didn't see him. Oh, we just found a little one. Let's see if we can offer them protection. We can. So we've got another $60 coming in, which is nice. And the crate's still here. Wanna dance, so let's, let's try and position it so we can attack both. I 
think we're going to shoot this one first. Kill him off because he might run behind those crates on the side. Oh, I just realized he's got a melee weapon. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm going to force him to come to me. Hmm. Nice. This is a promising development. We'll be loaded. Possibility ready as well. Nice crit there. Hmm. Oh, done for. All done, no incident. 600 more in cash. Let's see what we get here. Wow. Second box, and we've got blue armor, government issued body armor. That's amazing. I don't think I've had the two pulls that good ever. Um, I really don't. I actually done a video, um, you know, a money guide video talking about how, you know, the crates and, you know, you can sell the janky weapons. Uh, I, yep. I, I find that, you know, quite, quite good to do and you get a good bit of money for doing so. Um, but when I was recording it, you know, I was trying to get some, some good stuff and uh, I didn't get anything. Didn't get anything. Well, it just goes to show there are still some very good things. Um, to grab right so there is another faction for us to look at so let's have a look see who these guys are I'm on it. another miner okay can we offer them protection we can it's another 30 dollars for us there we go we're up to 213 dollars per per week good start Let's have a quick zoom out, see if we can see any more. Okay, there's one more thug here. I think, and there's one more group over here. Okay. Still haven't got a weapon yet, however. Would definitely like one. Um, in fact, just to make the combat a tad easier, I think I'm going to buy... Oh, do I go sledgehammer? I kind of want the uh, the trench knife. However, I don't have enough money. It's very sad. Maybe I'll wait a second. Uh -huh. Oh, I've just got lost. Game lagged on me. All right. Where were we going? This way. Gotcha. I kind of wish you had the ability to add in way markers. That way I wouldn't have to constantly zoom in and out of the map. Gotcha. But I do, I do really like this uh, this update. Precinct update is a great update. Fundamentally changed the game for the better. Hello, my friends. How are you? Okie dokie. Let's see if we get anything decent from this crate. Time to waste these idiots. Oof. I'm glad we actually got that hit. 65%. I was I was wavering. That body armor that we got really helped so much massively helped gotcha there we go still no weapon hey look at that 
The game loves me today. I swear, the game's like listening to me. You know, I was literally about to buy a melee weapon. And now look at us. We've got a melee weapon. 15% chance to inflict bleed. I will take that. Pretty sure that does more damage than my pistol as well. It does. It does do more damage than my pistol. Underway. Well, good start. Let's heal our tiny little bit of health. There we go. So, we have one more in the area. I swear we have one more in the area. I think maybe, yes, yeah, so just up here. All right. I know I'm getting lost Let's once go. again. So we've got one more crate in the area. So so far, the crates have been very kind. We've got two pieces of extremely good body armor. And we have a weapon which I was asking for. A nice little melee weapon. So, so far, so good. Just need to find a few more minor factions now. Um, and get the money ticking in. But I do think I still stand by this this little method, this little start of the game. Good little way to uh, build off a good start. So we've got three three here. Um, you talking you to me? Gonna have to play it a You're little bit differently. You want some of this? Uh -huh. Should still be able to do very good damage. Oh, you know what? Actually got a better idea. So what we're going to do is we are going to go one. I thought, forgot I was in there. Oh, I made a mistake. That's not good, is it? Tut tut. You talking to me? It was in ambush mode. Should have just done the double shot. But this is what I was going to do. I was going to shoot him once. And then I was going to stab him. Come on, you piece of shit! And he's going to bleed out. Oh, shit. I'm done for. Ah. Get that looked at. oh no! I went the wrong way. But at least he's bleeding. Okay. At least we got another one gone. Okay, it's on. Bloody also aim. Oh, damn it. I'm fucked. I quite like the melee weapon, to be fair. I think we're key for it. Oh, nice 700 there. Every little helps. And we got ourselves another meat cleaver. Nice. Oh, and we got a hit. Okay. That's cool. I like that. And we only lost 30 health. On first aid kit. And we are all good again. So let's have a little look, see, a little zoom out. I think we're done in this city now. Um, where were we? That is a bloody good question. I think we started here. Fortune Market. And we've explored that. So let's explore this. I did see Goldie. She's kind of expanding and expanding quickly. Really worried about her expansion though. She can kind of take the city. She will just be my first target if needed, you know? Let's move. Wanna die? You checking me out? I'm on it. Okie dokie, let's not make that mistake again. So we're gonna go straight off double fire. Nice. Then I'm gonna fire a shot over there. And we're going to finish one of them off. I'm on it. Oh, shit. 
Oh, that body armor is a lifesaver. Let's move. Oh, damn it! Oh, that sounds a doctor's bag. Nice. That's <laughs> third. Oh my god. Okay, body armor galore. Kind of getting a bit crazy. Liking it though. I am liking it. Let's see where her. Ah, uh, right next to us. Never mind. We are going to do a bit of skip skip. I'm the busiest man in Chicago. You've been running things well, Max. And then I and I'm listening. And we will accept. That just might work. You have the better head on those. I'm glad we. All these positive relations are going to do us good, however, because uh, in not too distant future, I'm going to try and get as much swill off them as possible. And it it just helps to have a good relationship with them. Ah! Time to waste the idiots. Oh, shit. I'm done for. Oh, we're gonna get a little help apparently. Not that we need it though, you know, calm down, we got this. Oh, I'm so glad that's not an enemy. That would have taken ages to run down. Ah, damn it. Fuck. Eee, we got a better pistol. Is it a better pistol though? That's the question. No, it's not. But we have got another pistol. So, all good. Oh, finally some jank. I'm saying finally some jank. I don't want any more junk. I don't want no jank. I don't need to talk about. I've had rubbish boxes all day. Gotcha. Who is this? We've got the Reagan cult. So Okie dokie. Bit of Frank Reagan. Where am I? I'm down there. There's a couple of thugs to have go at. Oh, auto save. Is that the first auto save we've had? Maybe, maybe. I have a note here just yet. You checking okay, me let's pop ourselves here. You talking to me? Ooh, down to six. Nice. Two crits is uh, hmm. pretty handy. Uh -huh. Bleeding, so he's dead anyway. Hmm. Oh, they actually missed a shot. And there we go, we're all done. Oh, we've earned ourselves a nickname, Dr. Death. Quite like that. Oh, we've got some Anvil. Let's have a look. There we go, Maxima and Dr. Death Zalnik. Pretty cool. Um, we're going to pop those. They give us an extra 10 damage, which is pretty good. Um, gives ourselves the Dr. Bag. And oh, we'll do the we'll do the bandage. No, we won't do the bandage. I'll quickly kill another that little that little bit. Uh -huh. Right, let's have a little look to where we are again. So we were on our way to a sit down, and there's another little group here to have a look at. It's the last one in this city. Let's move. So let's he leave here, go towards the sit down. I do like that the extra options um, within the, the sit downs now. I think they're pretty cool. Let's see who this is. 
and we can't offer them protection deal because they've already got one. Not surprising considering. They're literally right next door to Frank, so. Maxim Zelnik, come in. Something tells just get We do actually finally have enough little money to hire someone else though. Let's talk shop. Which is cool. I'm listening. Should probably think about hitting a thug depot at least uh, soon. That just might work. Huh. You have a better head on those shoulders than I assumed. I'm glad we. At least when we do hire someone as well, straight up give them uh, a blue body armor. Happy days. Okay, so that's where we came from. Uh, that one's not in, so this will be the next one. And we have got four precincts we can look at. Let's go here. There we go, we just met Salts. Lovely jubbly. Quest to sit down. Whoa, Salts is in two different neighborhoods already or he's just exploring this one maybe oh protection deal with salts can't get in there alley cats are here where is she she is in this city okay <clears throat> Hello, Wanna friends. You checking me out? Oh, shit. I'm done for. Oh, I think now we've become a little bit more proficient with the pistol. It's doing a little bit more damage. Um, which means that these little encounters are going to be a little bit easier from now on, which is great. Well, sells another melee weapon. Again, happy days. Saves us money for buying one. You want Best some of this? Over here. Nice. Yeah, these battles are going to go a little bit smoother now. Get that looked at. See if we're going to inflict bleed. We didn't. Oh dear, he's gonna hit us. But his crit only done 15 because we have very good body armor. Best in a game, actually. Yeah, best in a game. It would be nice to see them add like a, a legendary body armor. I quite like that. Or unique body armor, you know? We've got, you know, we've got unique other things. We've got a bit of cash in there and we've got a big Bowie knife. Nice. And there is one more group just up gotcha. here. Let's have a look, see what they've got. You wanna die? Yes, yeah, so we've got our lifeline ability, which is great. What I want now is Oh, it's tough. I think I'm gonna go break shot. It's been nerfed a little bit, but don't really like All any right. of them anyway. You talking to me? Okay, so we got rid of one. Let's see if we can get rid of this second one without them even touching us again. Let's move. Oh shit! I'm done. I live to fight another day. Nice. Had another melee weapon. I'll take them. I'll take them all. Yep. Okay, so let's attend this sit down. Right next to it is a precinct that I want to check out anyway. See who is actually there. You do good work. 
as much as it pains. I'm, I'm gonna skip this dialogue just accept. Uh, that boosted casinos by the looks of it. I used to love running a load of casinos. Donovan, you must be nice. You got yourself a deal. Okie dokie, so where was... We do actually have another sit down this way. There we go. Okay, so there's one more faction here for us to check out. Mr. Zalnik, I'm glad we could set up this meeting. How do you like Chicago? Things run a little... Chicago plays by... Thankfully, I don't need to run... Once you see how things really work here, you will change. I think that's just... So what do you mean? Well, I've definitely I mean, gone the uh, long way about this. this. Far longer than you. Look, of course, I'm listening. I'd like to get a temple. That just might. You have a better hand. You will glad accept. You Okie dokie, let's find out what this faction is. And then I think we need to be taking a little bit closer look at home. Uh, maybe think about grabbing up a thug racket. Maybe think about hiring our first gangster. There we go. It was a minor. Let's see if we can actually do protection. We cannot do protection against them either. So we do only have two, it looks like. This was always probably going to happen, I think. You know, if I would have done 10 neighborhoods, um, even with the amount of, you know, even with everyone, um, if I'd have done 10 neighborhoods, well, uh, there would have been a lot more um, minor factions about um, and if I would have done not as many bosses there would have been even more minor factions about and then that, that would have been a lot of free easy money here. however we did not take the easy option in this one So, a Thug Precinct is what we need to be looking at. Or, possibly, I think we've got a one minor faction uh, in our area as well. Load of jank. We are kind of due a bit of jank, weren't we, to be fair. And this is where we live. So, I think considering where we are... This precinct would be nice to grab. And then this one here going into this one. Though I think I'm going to have to attack. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to attack um, the fortune tellers to get this because this is the pipeline. Without this, we can't expand. But I think I'm actually going to end this episode here, guys. So thank you very much for joining me in the first episode of our uh, Maxim Zalnik playthrough. I think we've done quite well, to be honest with you. I think we've got a very, very good start. We're going to be looking at hiring a gangster, attacking our first precinct, probably in the next episode. And of course, we have got that amazing body armor, which is just absolutely amazing. It also comes with a status effect, which gives us a 50% chance to resist um, status effects, which is, I, I love it. I just love it. I think it's brilliant. Do need to pick up a trinket. We haven't got one of them yet. And we probably do need better weapons. But once we attack our first precinct, we will get those better weapons. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me, and I will see you in the next episode.